You have just booked, directly with the cruise line or through your trusted travel agent, or are just about to start your next cruising vacation on Royal Caribbean Cruise Line's Allure of the Seas. Great! Now what? This is where we come in. This is where our travel video for seniors like you can help. Hi, this is Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel, where we save you time, money, and help you make your adult, senior, or retiree vacations more memorable and relaxing by sharing our insights, tips, recommendations, and experiences from our extensive lifelong travel adventures. As you know, most reviews of cruise ships, cruise lines, or just cruising in general are written by young or middle-aged adults for young families with young children. It's rare that you will find reviews written specifically for seniors. Seniors want different types of vacations from young adults and young families. This review of our top 10 tips for seniors to have a relaxing, memorable vacation on Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas was written by me, a Medicare card-carrying senior, written for seniors, retirees, and baby boomers, just like you, from our point of view. You want to maximize your enjoyment from your upcoming cruise, right? We hope we can help you through this video do just that. These 10 tips to maximize your enjoyment on your cruise are generally in sequential order, more or less. So, let's get started at the beginning. First, learn about your actual cruise ship. Cruise ships differ from one to the other, from one cruise ship class to the other, from one cruise line to the other. Familiarize yourself from several different sources. The more you know about your cruise ship, the better prepared you will be to take advantage of what it has to offer you. And no, we are not talking about learning from these little guys that may be on your bed each evening. First, there is the website of your cruise line, of course. Here you'll find deck plans showing exactly where your cruise cabin is located and what is on each deck. Next, you want to watch YouTube videos, well, such as this one and others from our YouTube channel, as well as other YouTube channels. It's only there where you will learn insider secrets, such as on our cruise, there was no conditioner in our cabin shower. Only this hair and body wash combination. Ooh. Wish we knew about that before our cruise. Now you do. Tip number two. Check in for your cruise as soon as you can, using the online app on your smartphone or tablet, or through your account on your cruise line's website. For us, we could check in 45 days prior to its sailing. And by doing this first thing in the morning, guess what? we were able to get on boarding time of 11 a.m., real early. And we had no status with Royal Caribbean. It was our first cruise with them. And we were not in a suite or a concierge cabin either. The earlier your boarding time, the sooner your cruise vacation can start. Tip number three, make your show reservations as early as possible. Once again, this is done through the Royal Caribbean app on your smartphone or tablet or through your account on their website. You already know what shows you want to see because you followed tip number one. On the Royal Caribbean cruise Nancy and I went on this January, many of the shows were sold out prior to our cruise. To ensure you reserve your seats, no extra cost to do this by the way, for the entertainment you want to see while on your cruise, on the days and show times you want to see them, make your reservations as soon as you can. For us, we could do this about seven weeks before our cruise sailing, which was even before we could check in for our cruise. Tip number four. While we highly recommend you see the water acrobatic show in the Aqua Theater, and it was fantastic, we highly recommend you make your reservation to see this the very first night of your sailing. Why? For our cruise, Nancy made the reservations for our first night, and as it turned out, the seas were sufficiently choppy that both shows that evening had to be canceled. Just look at the water going over the edge of the stage here. Yikes. All of those who made reservations to see the show the first night had reservations automatically made for them on the third night, including us. Yet imagine if we waited to see the show on the last night it was offered. And on that same night, the same situation occurred with the show being canceled. In that case, we would not have been able to see the number one entertainment we wanted to see on our cruise. So, for your number one show you want to see most while on board, make your reservation, if you can, for the very first night. For you, we'll put a link at the end of this video to another of our videos about our experiences on the Allure of the Seas 
where we show you the highlights of the aqua show. It was fantastic. Tip number five. See the Broadway show the second night. On our cruise, the Broadway show was Mamma Mia, held in the large Amber Theater. It was fantastic. Much better singing than in the movie. With apologies to Pierce Brosnan, who can act and who likes this martini shaken but not stirred, but he can't sing. The theater was again sold out. It was two and a half hours long with an intermission. What a great show. Recordings of the show was not allowed, so we can only show you the stage set. Yet, stay to the end of the show if you go, and we recommend you do go, because the end of the Mamma Mia production on the Allure of the Seas is even better than that at the end of the movie. Number six, take a stroll through Central Park area of the Allure of the Seas. It was wonderful, daytime or nighttime, both actually. It was as if you were not on a cruise ship with all the bushes and trees and gardens and the like. There were also musicians performing several times throughout the evening. Some of the specialty restaurants and some bars are also accessible from Central Park. Now we hope you have found at least some of the tips presented so far interesting and of use to you. If you have, please do give our video a thumbs up so others will know of its value and if you've not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, that you click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified of our future travel videos for adults where we try to save you money and time through our travel insights, recommendations, and experiences that we share with you. Now, on to tip number seven. If your cruise stops at Coco Cay, Royal Caribbean's private island in the Caribbean, and you want to be sure to get a lounge chair at the beach right at the water's edge like this, the lounger we had, then make sure you get off the ship as soon as you can. We waited about only 15 minutes or so in line to be amongst the first to leave or disembark from the Allure of the Seas cruise ship. We walked along the pier, right to the island. It's great that no tender boat was needed, unlike the other cruise line ship you see in the distance here, needing a tender boat to get its guests to its private island that's right next door to Coco Cay. And away we go for a full day on Coco Cay, where we could choose exactly where we wanted to sit, because most of the other 5,000 or so passengers on the Allure of the Seas were still on board. Tip number eight, on days where you will spend your mornings or most of your time in the adults only area called the Solarium, we strongly suggest you get there early in the morning to claim your spot. Sure, notice a trend here with many of our insider tips. We were able to grab this beauty of a love seat lounger chair for our entire stay that day. It was pure heaven. Yes, even more comfortable than the many, many lounger chairs which are in the area. There are only a few of these love seat loungers, so we felt very lucky. On our day at sea, Nancy wanted to spend time in this, the partially covered, partially opened area at the front of the Allure of the Seas. We really like this area of the ship. It is quite visually attractive area to relax. As everything that adults could want from a dipping pool you see here to hot tubs, to bars and an area which is our next tip for you. Top tip number nine, hang in there. Only one or two more tips to go now. For adults only, have your breakfasts and lunches in the Solarium Bistro. Yes, it's part of the adults only Solarium area aboard the Allure of the Seas. We suggest if there are only adults in your party that you bypass the Windjammer Marketplace on deck 16, shown here, which is the main area everyone can access the buffet meals, which can get quite busy. We saw lines to get inside stretching out past the elevators on some days. And instead, have your first two meals here in the Solarium Bistro. We had lunch in the Windjammer on our embarkation day and then our breakfast the first morning. Thereafter, our breakfasts and lunches were here in the Solarium Bistro. Much more relaxing and all the same food, including for breakfast our made-to-order omelets. And on our sea day, the Solarium Bistro was just a few steps from our love seat lounge where we were camped out. It was pure bliss. Tip and our last tip of the day for you, number 10. Relax. You're on vacation. Take a few minutes to enjoy all of the free live music being played by the musicians throughout the ship. Here we are back in the Central Park area at night with our second of two groups we filmed for you. We actually saw three during our board. They were all fantastic. 
And then we snagged a walk-in seat here in the Blaze Jazz Club on Deck 4, just outside the Amber Theater after we saw the comedy show on our last night. It was a great find by Nancy. And there you have it, our top 10 tips for adults, retirees, baby boomers, and seniors on how to make the most out of your Royal Caribbean cruise on the allure of the seas. We hope our review of these top 10 tips will help you on your next cruising sailing adventure. Here are two more of our adult vacation travel videos for you to choose with more tips and insights from our own extensive travels to save you time and money. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.